What excites you about the schedule this year? Well, I think it's a very difficult schedule, and it's it's heavy road early. Um, so I don't know if that's exciting or scary, but I think it's a little bit of both uh, in terms of we're going to get battle tested early on the road, and we're playing some really good competition. I mean, UC Santa Barbara was an Omaha team a couple of years ago. Uh, we start off with them, and they're uh, I think picked to finish in the top three in their conference in the Big West. And then uh, we have St. Louis coming into town and St. Louis is picked to win the Atlantic 10. Um, uh, obviously Oregon, a Pac-12 school up at their place. And uh, we play the Raging Cages this year in Louisiana, which is going to be a great trip. It's a, uh, a very good team, a team that hosted a Super Regional not too long ago and uh, that has very good players. It's very well coached. Um, for those of you that are LA people that don't know much about them, it's a hostile environment with a very good crowd, and I think it would be uh, very good for our players. And I'm excited to get out there and see how we respond in those situations. And you know, um, so we're talking about you know trying to play deep in the year, and those those things can help you out later in the year, uh, slow the game down a little bit if you've been in hostile environments, and then you come back and you play in less hostile environments. What steps forward have the returners made heading into the season? Well, I, you know, every year we hope that our returners develop and get a little bit better. And I think we've we have a track record of developing guys and that seem to have come from nowhere. You know, Nico Decalotti and J.D. Busfield come to mind. And we feel like our returners um, are poised to, to have a good year. Um, Especially on the mound, you know, we we took some lumps last year. We had to we we were banged up and we had to pitch a lot of freshmen. Um, and for about three weeks, we only had one returner on the mound for about nine to twelve games. And the kids that we threw out there, uh, they didn't flinch. Uh, they didn't maybe perform as well as uh, we had liked or they would have liked, uh, but they uh, they got a lot better because of it. And. Uh, I think what you're going to see on the mound from our team is much more improved on the mound. Those guys that had to get thrown into the fire last year, probably a little bit too early, well, it's going to pay off for us a little bit. Uh, they're, they're much more uh, efficient at throwing strikes, their stuff's better, and they know what they're getting into. So they know how to handle success or failure a little bit better than they did a year ago. Uh, and then at, on the position player side of things, um, I think we got some hungry guys that are anxious to prove themselves and try to earn some respect. Who do you expect to lead this year? Well, in our program, uh, typically it's the juniors and seniors that lead. And I, I don't want to really identify any individuals because we like to have everybody, as many people as we can lead. We don't have a leader or a captain or three or four. Uh, I mean, I, I designate maybe seven or eight guys uh, that uh, that I'll go to, like maybe like a council, if I have a question about what's going on with the team, or any of those guys can always come to me and say, hey, the guys were wondering if, you know, we can wear shorts to practice tomorrow. The answer is usually no, but occasionally I'll let them do stuff like that. Or uh, so there is there is a liaison group that that I go to. But in our organization, we'd like to think anyone's capable of leading. I don't want to put a box around a guy because uh, he's a sophomore or a freshman. Uh, we feel like uh, if you have something to say, be honest about it, and uh, your teammates will respect you if, if it's the right thing coming out of your mouth. So uh, I expect all of them to lead in their own way, whether it's through example, uh, hard work, or vocally. And finally, how have the newcomers adapted so far? You know, uh, we're pleased with the newcomers. Now, in terms of how they're adapting to Division One baseball, I won't have any answers for you till you know, two or three months from now in terms of how they've adapted to that. But I will say that uh, the older guys have said to me uh, that they've bought in and they're doing what they're asked of and they're respectful to our players that have been here in the past. And I guess that's all you can ask to this point is that they're bought into the coaching staff and uh, the system that's put in place. And the guys that have been here in the past are alumni that have built this program into a, a, you know, a program that's um, expected to be in the conference tournament every year based on past performance. And uh, I think that they're bought in and they're doing everything we're asking them to do. Now, again, in terms of performance, we'll find out. To a uh, fan who's maybe never been to a game before here, can you tell us what they're going to see at Page? Yeah, I think uh, if you've never been to a game before, uh, first of all, I suggest you come out because it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we have great promotions and um, we have uh, a lively group of guys and a crowd that gets into the game. You're right on the field. 
Um, you know, the, the stands are real close to the, to the, to the game. And uh, our style of play is fast. Uh, we, like to, we like to keep things in action. Uh, we're big believers in throwing strikes and putting the ball in play. So there's not a lot of dead time, uh, all things considered. It is baseball, but all things considered, there's not, a, there's not a lot of dead time. So we like to steal. We like to hit and run. We like a lot of action on offense. And our pitchers aren't going to play. They're not going to play scared. They're going to come right after hitters. So it's an action game. It's fun. Uh, the crowd gets into it. And like I said, you're right on the field. So it's, it's a pretty good environment to be around.